Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing the July Whiff box with you guys. I don't know what's in here. It's a heavy one though, so I'm really excited to see what goodies we have this month. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right in. So the little pamphlet this time says a celebration in pink. It has all these cute little like pictures on it. And the little note on the back says, Pink is the sweet, caring friend you know will always be there. In your July Whiff box, featuring some of our most iconic scents like Pink Cotton and Codberry Dreams, color and fragrance work together to evoke kindness, friendship, and playfulness. Your Whiff box has never been sweeter. Okay, random month to have a pink celebration. I don't know. <laughs> You'd think they do that around Valentine's Day. Oh, okay, I get it. They're trying to do it about around Friends Day. So July 30th is International Friendship Day, and there's no better way to celebrate your friends than with a sweet gift, a sweet sensey gift. Use these cards to give the gift of fragrance to your besties. Cute. Again, kind of weird month for pink celebration, but that's all right. So we got a lot of pink stuff in here. So the things that aren't in a Mylar pouch, we do need the Mylar pouches now. We're up into like probably the 80, I think it's probably 80-ish today, which isn't super hot by any means, but hot for here, especially because we've been really lagging. Like it was rainy and cold like less than a month ago, maybe even like less than a week ago. It was probably raining and cold. So anyway, that's the Pacific Northwest for you. So we have a pink sugarberry mint room spray. I think I already have one of these from my scent of the month kit. So I probably will end up gifting this like to like one of my sisters maybe. Hopefully they're not watching this video. Um, and then a Cloudberry Dreams washer whiffs, which did we just get Cloudberry Dreams and washer whiffs? I don't think I've ever tried Cloudberry Dreams and washer whiffs. Maybe in a sample, but not like in this much. I, I like this a lot better in non-wax products than I do in the wax. Cloudberry Dreams is not a favorite of mine. It's a very um, tart berry with a very like kind of offensive to my nose floral. So I don't love it in wax. So I tend to avoid it, but I've liked it so far in the other products I've had it in. Like the dish soap was just fine. This smells, you know, not a favorite of mine, but smells just fine. I'll use it. I'm excited to test that out. So there is Cloudberry Dreams. And the last non-wax thing in there is a pink sugarberry mint car bar, which I will definitely be using. All right, let's open up the Mylar pouch now. See what wax is in here. Smells good. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's a scent of the month sample for next month's scent of the month. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Was it January or February? It was way back at the beginning of the year was the last time we got one of these. Oh my gosh, I really hope this means they're here to stay and they're coming back and they listened to us, specifically me and everyone in my comment section that was so bummed about it. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to smell that. I'll get to that at the end. So that must have been what, um, I think it was Debbie that commented on my last video and was like, no spoilers, but there's something in this whiff box that's something coming back in this whiff box, something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, it could be anything because they had just done Mojito Mambo like in a scent, in a Scentsy bar in one of our last few whiff boxes. So I was like, it could be any scent coming back, but she knew me so well. It's my, my dang scent pots for next month's end of the month. I've missed those. I'm so excited. All right, and the two bars that are in here are Prickly Pear and Agave, which I'm excited about because I do like this, but I think I already used the bar that I had. So excited about that. And then Pink Rhubarb Sugar, which this one is one that I really do like, but I think I'm gonna take a risk and not put it in my Scentsy Club because I'm pretty sure we'll come back next year. The pattern that I have noticed is that the new releases come back for two years. So they come back the year, they're, they're there the year that they're a new release, then they come back that second year. It's the third year that's really like, okay, maybe it's gonna come back, maybe it's not. And drum roll please, for the first time in over like five months, we are sniffing the scent of the month for the next month super early. So Glacier Water, which of course it's not focusing. Glacier Water is the August scent of the month. We are, there is not going to be a warmer of the month in August, just as a side tangent, due to some like manufacturing and supply chain issues, just as a heads up. 
but I'm really excited about this scent. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I'm gonna like it. Based on the name, I feel like I might. Yeah, ooh, that's nice. I think that I tend to really like the August scents of the month. So I absolutely loved Aloe Vera and Ivy, which was the scent of the month in August 2020, which was when, like, really my first month as a consultant. And then the next August, so last August, was Vanilla Blackberry. I also loved that scent. I enjoy this one too. I'm excited to see how I feel warming it. It's very fresh and clean. It, it is reminding me of a slightly more laundry-esque Atlantic air. That's how I would describe this. I think people are gonna like this. It's a nice break from the last few scents of the month. Like we had Ruby Nectarine in April, which was like super, super fruity. In June, we had Red, White, and Berry Pie, which was like super fruity plus a little bit bakery. And then we had Desert Tropics. Was that the scent? I think that was the scent of the month or is the scent of the month for this month. All three of those were like super, super strong, like super sweet, fruity. This is fresh. I like it. But it's not green fresh like Sunburst Bamboo. And we've seen a lot of green fresh scents in the past couple months too. So this is different. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm excited. I really hope that this means that we are going to start getting these regularly every month because this is a huge, huge perk for me personally in the whiff box. So super excited to warm that and let you guys know my thoughts. If you have smelled this already, let me know what you are thinking about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all on my next one. Bye everybody.